Well, welcome. It is Thursday. Vincent Pierce joins us. Randy Ham was unfortunately unable to make it today, but we have a good friend of his. Hi, it's so nice Hi. to meet you. And you're with the West Texas Harp Society mm -hmm. Camp. So just tell me a little bit about that program. So the West Texas Harp Society is a chapter of the American Harp Society Incorporated, uh, which has about 3,000 members nationwide. Uh, and we sponsor the Permian Basin Harp Camp every summer. This is our second year. Um, it's held at Odessa College. Mm -hmm. um, it started yesterday. Um, and tomorrow night, we have a faculty recital at Jack Rogers Auditorium at 6 p.m. That is so exciting. Mm -hmm. And so tell me a little bit about your summer, summer program. What inspired that to, because you're bringing harps to the Permian <laughs> Basin. So yeah. what kind of well, inspired actually, you to do that? Um, I uh, run the Ector County ISD harp program. Okay. And so I've got lots of harps and students. And I thought, you know, they need uh, to work with some other teachers besides just me and, and to get, um, you know, some, some playing time in the summer and uh, right. an experience right here rather than um, always, you know, leaving to do these things. Uh, so this year we've brought um, the harp professor uh, from TCU, Dr. Laura Brandenburg, and mm -hmm. also the harp teachers from Texas Tech, Rachel Mizuko, and West Texas A&M, uh, Dr. Jenny Miller. And how mm -hmm. common is it to have programs like yours out here in Odessa? Because this is actually the first time I've heard of it. And yeah, so yeah. It's I don't know. quite rare. Um, there are about three public school programs in the state of Texas that mm -hmm. offer harp. Um, ours is the only one that is fully inclusive, so students take it as a class, and it's free for them. The harps are owned by the school, um, and so they ha it's accessible to any student in ACISD. And are they able to get school credits for that as well? Yes, they get a fine arts That's credit really for it. That's really cool. Yeah, it's pretty great. And what is your favorite part about teaching students? Um, I, I, you know, I'd have to kind of say teaching the beginners when they finally get something that they couldn't do before, it's mm -hmm. really exciting. So. Right. It's, I couldn't imagine trying to learn how to play the harp. <laughs> There's just so many different strings involved mm -hmm. and different tones. It's always been incredible for me to watch harpists play. And uh, so do you have any recitals coming up for these students besides the, the event mm -hmm. tomorrow? Yeah, so we have, like I said, our recital tomorrow at 6 with mm -hmm. the, the teachers. Um, and then Saturday morning at 11.30 in the same place in Jack Rogers Auditorium, the students will be giving their final concert for the camp. Perfect. So. And how much is the camp? Is it free? Um, the camp is actually free. <gasps> Wow. Yeah, oh it is gosh. completely funded um, by Odessa Arts and by the Ector County ISD Heart Booster Club. That so. is so incredible. And so these students are able to just come and they don't have to worry about the cost mm -hmm. and paying any fees. Because I'm sure, do a few students get their own harps and bring them or do you have harps in, um, in the class? We bring all the harps for them. I okay. actually do not have any students that own a harp because they're so expensive. Absolutely. You know, so. That is so amazing. Yeah. Well, we're so happy you're here. and. We actually hear that you're going to be performing for us yes. on your harp, I so will. I'm super excited for that. Stay tuned for more after the break. You're not going to want to go anywhere because Vincent is actually going to play his harp for us.